the city has retaliated by cutting off their electricity supply. Uh, this amount of 29,244, every month I should pay that 2,000. I won't manage to pay this whole 2,000. And if I can't afford to pay this 2,000, they're apparently going to give that earth to somebody else who can afford to pay this amount of money. At least if they come to that point that we unblock our uh, boxes, we pay 2,000. From there, at least if we pay $100 every month or 150 for this amount to, to be cut off or so that we can pay our bill off, it's at least better. We are not happy, we pay too much money. Even the agreement that we're supposed to pay 100 per month or 150 per month or 200 per month, just like that. Yeah, some people, they are not working, they are selling the, 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 what, the, 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 the kapana. Yeah? They cannot afford to pay this amount. City of Windhoek's corporate communication head, Joshua Amukoho, responded. The day you signed a lease agreement, you indicated where all your communication should be forwarded to. According to the policy, one could qualify for being given a piece of land if that household is having an earnings of between 3000 and 8000 Namibian dollars per month. We also asked Amukoho as to why the city of Windhoek did not simply cut off the services at an earlier stage before the situation became this severe. We are normally not in a hurry because the person might be in a financial dilemma again before going back to the services that, is, that are being provided. But we are not all out to make their life difficult. But definitely, they should also not shy away from their responsibilities. Amukuo says unemployment and miscommunication are the main contributing factors to this issue. He urged all the affected parties to feel free to contact the city to discuss possible solutions. The Sieve de Land Informa Settlement residents are planning a public meeting this coming Sunday to map a way forward. This is Stephen Kashekele reporting for the News on One.